like, oh, okay, don't play with me because I got this on, baby. So, don't play with me because I put that ish on, okay? Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sasha. My friends call me Big Sasha, not the little one. I'm just joking. Don't nobody call me that, y'all. I am Simply Sasha Ferris on all of your social media platforms. If you are not subscribed, you know I'm going to tell you to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below for me. Well, today's video is going to be about perfumes. These are going to be my favorite perfumes that I have found that I just absolutely love. I am not a perfume expert though. I do have my notes here on my phone so I can like give you some more information on the perfumes like the notes and all of that good stuff. A lot of these perfumes are going to be perfumes that you can wear for the fall and the winter. So these are going to be like some really really yummy scents. And um, these are going to be scents that you can wear during the day, at night, date night with your girls. Like you can wear these scents all the time. But these are my top favorite. Honestly, my most complimented perfumes, you guys. I'm so excited about this video because one of these fragrances I just tried the other day and it was absolutely amazing. And I had somebody say, I, I will buy any fragrance from you because every time I smell you, you smell absolutely delicious. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into these fragrances. You see this bottle? Then you know, <laughs> baby, you know, I have been through this bottle. I'm absolutely saving like this little bit because I don't want to have to rebuy it. My birthday's next month, so I'm going to try to save this little bit until my birthday. And I'm going to ask all my friends just to buy me a new bottle of this. This is a Prada Paradox Intense. Y'all. This is my most complimented fragrance. When I tell you I get so many compliments, like I went to my friend's house the other day and one of his friends answered the door. And before he even said hello to me, he said, what are you wearing? What fragrance are you wearing? I said, hello, nice to meet you. My name is Sasha. And he was like, okay, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please excuse my manners, but what are you wearing? This is one of the fragrances. Like I just, I be kind of wanting to gatekeep. Cause I'm like, I don't want everybody running around smelling like this because it smells so good. But I was like, I guess, I guess I'll let you know what fragrance I wear. You can see that I have been wearing this thing down to the ground. This has notes of rich amber and floral. I have to spray it. I have to spray it. Like in order for me to give you like my, oh my God. Oh my God. I wish you could smell this through the camera. The Prada Paradox Virtual Flower and they also have the regular Prada Paradox. This is the Intense. Get the Intense. I think, honestly, I think from now on, I'm going to get the Intense of almost every fragrances because I'm like, does the Intense just mean it smells better? And honestly, this sticks. This is one of those fragrances that's going to stick on you. Every time I wear this perfume, like I get so many compliments on it and it sticks. It's like I don't have to keep reply, uh, reapplying it throughout the day. Get smell to it. This makes me, this can be like rich auntie vibes when I'm wearing this. Cause I'm like, it has elegance. It just smells, it just has like a rich smell to it as well. I'll put the notes of the fragrance here on the screen, but baby, baby, baby. If you don't try any of the fragrances from this video, try this one. I swear, everybody who I have recommended to try this, they love it. I can't. I think this thing came with a top. I can't even find it because it don't matter because it smells so good. Okay, y'all. This fragrance was just added to my collection. Like when I say just, I mean just. But it was like you ever smelled something and the first time you spray it, you're like, okay, this is the one. This is the one, not the two, okay? This is the one, okay? So this is the Joe Malone. I think this is the first time I ever tried a Joe Malone fragrance, but when I tell you, oh my gosh, oh, oh, oh my gosh. So this is the Joe Malone Fur and Artishma. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fur and Artishma, this smells so good. Okay, and you know I gotta, I gotta spray, I gotta spray. This is another fragrance that lingers around because I put it on and I can smell it like through throughout the day, I can smell it on my clothes. You ever have a perfume and after a few hours, you be like, did I put on any perfume today? This is not it. I have been smelling, like I put this on in the morning and I definitely smelled this until the afternoon. Like I can smell it on my clothes like throughout the day. I was like, okay, Jo Malone, you did your big one with this one, baby. You did your big one. This fragrance, it smells like, it has like a warmth to it. 
so this is why I really like this for like the fall and winter um, it smells like um, luxurious and it also makes me feel like warm and cozy like it has like all of those feels in one fragrance okay so this has a base note of leather and let me tell you i usually do not like fragrances that have like leather as a note in them because honestly it's just too much for me but this smells and this is like it could be like a unisex fragrance like men and women can wear this this bottle i believe this bottle is like 170 dollars but when i tell you it's worth every single penny worth every single penny. If this is a new fragrance, I'm gonna wear this down. I already know, you see how the bottle, like you can tell I just got it because the bottle is still full. Next time you see it, the bottle gonna be done because this is gonna be like one of my fragrances I'm gonna wear all winter and all fall and all winter. And so this is another one that I have been wearing a lot. This is the Kayali uh, Vanilla 28. When I tell y'all, if you are a vanilla lover, you're gonna love this one. You are going to adore this one when I tell you this fragrance has notes of vanilla, brown sugar, and a hint of musk. When I tell you, hold on, I gotta spray it. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna smell like. Ooh, yeah. So this also is like a rich and elegant smell as well. All of these fragrances that I'm showing you give me, oh, you got money vibes. You know what I'm saying? This is a good fragrance that you can pair, or this is a good fragrance that you can wear alone. Let me show you what I pair it with. A lot of times I pair this fragrance with the Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. This is the hair mist. So I spray this as a hair mist and then I use this on my body one. Baby, baby, this is this is a good combination. And also this, the Kayali, the Kayali Vanilla 28 and the Black Opium by YSL. This combo, this combo is chef's kiss. Like, I don't know if you're a combination perfume girl. I just want to put on one perfume and go. I get it. Because I don't want to always have to put on a whole bunch of different perfumes. But it depends on what you're going for. If you put this combo together, I swear you would get so, so many compliments. This is definitely a good fall and winter combo because of, like, the vanilla smell. And it's like a warm brown sugar vanilla smell this is going to give you like a sweet but sophisticated you know some like sweet perfumes you'd be like no this is a child's perfume some perfumes they smell like candy and they smell like a little bit too sweet not this one this is definitely going to give you grown woman but you're going to smell so delicious so yummy so this this is an oldie bucket like if you have not tried ysl libre child what are you missing let me tell you what i did find in the store though i also found the ysl libre body oil baby so you put on the body oil and you also put on the ysl libre baby you can't tell me nothing when i'm wearing this you cannot tell me because not only am i oiled up and smelling good with the oil alone but then i just spray this on top of it Honey, excuse me? Who are you talking to when I have this on? Please don't say nothing to me because I have this on. This has like a floral smell to it, but it also has like a warm smell as well. So this is why I would definitely wear this. Honestly, I wear this year round. This is one of my favorite, like if I'm looking for a date night scent, this is one of my favorite, favorite date night scents because maybe just get the job done every single time. This scent is a little bit more bolder because it has notes of orange and lavender and it also has like a vanilla slash musk type of scent. So it's a little bit more bold. Right here. Oh my gosh. This definitely gives you rich. Like, when you put this on, you're going to smell like a million bucks. And it gives you like, this is one of those fragrances that gives me confidence. Like, when I'm wearing this, I, like, I, I sit up a little bit higher. I walk a little bit, like, better. I'm like, oh, okay, don't play with me because I got this on, baby. Don't, don't play with me because I put that ish on, okay? This is one of those fragrances that you are going to, and honestly, this is not a new fragrance. This is an oldie but goodie. Like, this is one of those fragrances that you're going to keep in your collection forever. This will never go out of style. I have some fragrances that kind of like went out of style for me. And I'm like, I don't want to wear that no more. But this is always one that I always, always go to. No matter how long I've had this, I always go to this. Another oldie but goodie is the Valentina Born Aroma. 
like this is like that girl scent I feel like if you're that girl you already have this in your collection I think I ran out of the big bottle but Valentino sent me over the little bottles um, but this is something I've been wearing for years. Like, way before I even started doing content, I was wearing this. They sent me over the regular one, and then they also sent over the Born in Roma Intense. Then they also sent me over the Born in Roma Chloral Fantasy. Born in Roma is a classic. Like, this is a classic perfume. Born in Roma is like a fresh but sophisticated scent. Like, you can't little girl me when I'm wearing this scent. Like, I'm grown. I'm grown woman with this set on, okay? It has notes of jasmine. When you're wearing this, you can also smell the notes of, like, vanilla and wood in this. But it has such good, like, combination of all the scents. This one, I like the original formula. Like, you cannot go wrong with the original formula of this one. I smell the Intense. The Intense doesn't smell bad, but it don't do what this do. This gonna do it for me every single time. Actually, I don't think I smelled the um, coral one. These little bottles right here are so perfect to um, travel with. I mean, these are gonna be my raw reaction to, if I could smell it, actually. Let me try spray it on me. Let me spray it on something else. Because I got so many different scents on me. Ooh. I like this too. So this has like a more floral scent to it rather than the, the first one. The first one has more like a vanilla and wood scent. This one has more floral. This is a scent I would wear more like spring and summer-ish. The Valentino Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. I would wear this more spring and summer. Um, the other one, the regular formula of Born in Roma, I would just wear that year round because it just like... That is also a good date night scent too. This is like a really good daytime floral scent, but it does give me like, when I'm smelling it, it does give me like spring type vibes. They, they didn't miss with this one. They did not, it was all hit to no miss. So what I love about the Valentino um, Born in Roma perfumes is I love the bottles. Like I love like these little like studded looks on the bottle. The big one looks just like this, but I love, love, love their bottles. Okay, so last but not least is a good another oldie but goodie. These perfumes that I'm showing you guys today, these has been through trials and tribulations, okay? So I did not just go buy these and be like, let me make a video. The only new one really is this one. This one is brand spake new, but I like, I love this one. Like this was love at first sight. Jo, this with Joe Malone was love at first sight. I really got to try their other fragrances. This is by Giorgio Armani. And when I tell you, I've had this for years and I have literally been wearing this down to the ground, okay? Um, oh, it smells so good. This has like a wood. Okay, I think I'm an expert now. I'm pretty sure I'm a, by the end of this video, I'm gonna be a perfume expert. But you can smell, this has like wood and vanilla scents. Also a grown woman scent. Like if you, this is a scent, I feel like this is a scent you gotta graduate to. Like you don't start off with this. Because this is gonna be like, excuse me? What are you wearing? Like, this is a grown woman scent. This is a scent like, okay, baby, I have arrived. Stop playing with me. Okay, stop playing with me because I'm wearing this. I think it's the Intense one comes in a red bottle, I, if I'm not mistaken. I had the Intense version and I gave it to my friend as a gift because I was like, I already have this one. I don't need the other one. Um, and she wore it the other day and I smelled it on her. So what are you wearing? She's like, I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani perfume that you gave me. And I was like, uh -uh, I need to take that back because, baby, when I tell you it smells so good on her, and like it was one of those scents like as she walked through the room it kind of followed and lingered her excuse me ma'am that's not that's not get, get it back get one of the red bottle smells amazing and it definitely is definitely one of those scents that lingers but this one is also a really good scent that sticks to you this is one of those scents that lasts and it sticks to you that's what i love about these perfumes it's like these are not perfumes that's gonna wear off in like an hour and you be like girl did i even put anything on today absolutely yes you did because you're going to smell this throughout the day you're going to smell this from morning noon and night okay so those are my two like those are my favorite favorite perfumes those are perfumes you're going to get a lot of compliments in you're going to be asked if you're going on a first date wear one of these perfumes because then you're going on a second third and fourth date i promise you if you like floral musk um sweet vanilla 
definitely try out these scents i'm going to link all of these scents below in the description bar as usual if you guys have tried any of these scents comment below and let me know which one is your favorite and if you do try them let me know what you think and thank you for watching bye